Hey guys, Pookie here with another video. Um, this is like my fifth try trying to do this intro. The reason this video might start off a little bit awkward is because this originally was a 28 minute video, but I trimmed it because PlayStation won't let you put a video on YouTube that's over 15 minutes. So I had to trim it down to a 15 minute video. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I was not to be distant. Oh my. Come in. Come in and let me see you. How did you get in here? And how did you know to come now? Tonight of all nights, when we are finally ready to answer the call of the Machine God's infinite wisdom. Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Alison Stanek. Of course you are. And you have found her on the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel? Assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity? If there is any way your High Priestess can be of... I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother Victor is a brave man and a great leader. And he asked me to build some of my little ones f for him. I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You entered this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Free! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. Then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you. But I persevered. And the machine god has given me my reward. I emerged from the crucible enlightened. And then the first thing you did was help Victor blow people up, making life even worse for the Augmented in this city. It is true. What Victor did has led to more suffering. But when our oppressors first spilled our blood, they gave us no choice but to fight back. And why shouldn't we? They are flesh flawed. A cancer upon us all. And there is only one way to fight a cancer. You must burn out every single cell of it. Victor's not a surgeon, he's a butcher. Cutting away the good people with the bad. People like your father, who's always stood by you, no matter what. There are a lot out there like him, and bombs don't differentiate. Father, such a sweet man. I can only hope Victor's attacks will continue to spare him. Continue? You mean there's gonna be more of them? Well, you don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to destroy the entire city. And now you will excuse me. I have my own pressing concerns to contend with. Hey, we're not done here. Allison? I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You are concerned with our lives. You do not need to worry, brother. Um this physical body will die. Our minds will depart our corporeal shells and merge with the infinite consciousness of the machine god. This is the ascension. I would invite you to come with us, but there is no more room. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and it does not matter. I am on the threshold of a new existence. When I become one with the machine god, the artificial burdens of this physical plane 
will no longer bother me. It does matter. Nobody's born augmented. You called this world a crucible, where what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. But Victor is killing people, denying them their chance to become enlightened. Don't you care about that? Of course I do. Enlightenment is an exalted state. But fate must decide who achieves it. All we can really do for others is pray they succeed. This world is made of nothing but agony and suffering. Of the futile attempt to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The ascension is our only hope of deliverance. That isn't true. There's one thing in this world you can always rely on. Your father. Go to him. You know he'd never reject you. Have faith that he'll take care of you, and you can build on the foundation he provides. And when he dies, where does that leave me? Alone and in pain once again. You... you have left me confused. Your visit at this fateful time cannot be coincidence. It forces me to question my certainty. Am I truly ready for the ascension? Not yet. And what about these other people? They will not ascend without their High Priestess. All right. But I still need you to help me stop Victor. I have already told you where he is. And since I do not know what his plans are, there is nothing more I can tell you. I'm not the one who's gonna be asking. These men are gonna take you in now. You have my word. They will treat you with respect. And my children... Smiley, Stanek and her escorts are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. Are you back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen. You and Pletcher find something? It's bigger than we find. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. We're flying there now. Fill her out. Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do. Oh man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? Black Love's honor. Just get to the lab and you'll see. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Aria. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. <laughs> 